Pamela, we are out of time. Bingo. Holly Quinn reporting for duty, sir! God help us. Where can I find your BFF, Poison Ivy? I can help you find her, but you're gonna put in a good word for me with the parole boy. Hmm. No. You're really gonna change us all into plants? Humankind have had their chance. And you've had yours. Watch out, I'm about to blow like I thought we were friends. Friends don't let friends kill seven billion people. Hi, this is Mark Morell from Toon Barn, and we're here at San Diego Comic-Con 2017. We're talking about Batman and Harley Quinn. Yes, we are. And I'm here with one of the villains, the Floronic Man, <laughs> Kevin Michael Richardson. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Very good. Very good. When they told you about what kind of voice they wanted for Floronic Man, did they say, I want Floronic Man, or did they say, I want Floronic Man? <laughs> they actually just said that he's... They described him to me. I saw a picture of him. He, you know, he's this big, menacing, very tall, you know, green uh, behemoth. And when you look at the picture and you figure how he's going to be played, you think, okay, he's going to be one of your typical monster bad guys, which I played, you know, from time and time again. But with this character, uh, they made him very intelligent. So I incorporated intelligence with that toughness which I think is, it makes him even more deadlier, you know. So it just worked out very well when it came out. You know. So why does Floronic Man think he needs Poison Ivy? Well, they both made an agreement that they want to wipe out humanity. <laughs> and they both, they both thrive on, you know, plant life. They love plant life. And they just basically just want to destroy, not the world, but everyone that lives on it, all the inhabitants that are human. And to save and just make, create an entire new Eden of just plant life. Yeah. Do you think the villain should be on the poster? I think the villain should be on the poster. Yeah, you know what? I think you're damn right. <laughs> Where is he? I think he's hiding behind a gargoyle or something like that. Yeah, yeah, right? There are no plants on that at all. Yeah, I mean, hey, you're right. You know, oh, okay. You know what? I'm, I'm, I, I can't take it. All right. No, no, no. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us on Toon Bar. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much for having me. This is Jason Woodrow, a.k.a. the Floronic Man. What were the joys of Floronic Man? Well, yeah, I must say the truth. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I, I had no idea. I just, I'd never heard of the guy myself either until I saw the picture. And, um, you know, uh, I just saw this big green behemoth. And I figured, when I looked at the dialogue, I said, oh, this guy doesn't just look like a, or that he's supposed to sound like a growling, you know, snarling creature. He actually had intelligence. So I figured, well, I'm kind of smart. So, uh, <laughs> you know, when you try to give this guy, uh, you know, uh, a brain, and it worked out. And I figured that made him even more deadly because he's this behemoth, and he's actually uh, very smart, so. Is it, is it that easy? Is that when, uh, is, how much does the drawing actually inform the voice for you? Um, it can quite a bit, but as long as I have a look at the dialogue, that actually helps out a lot. And with, the, with Bruce's ideas, as far as how he wanted to sound, uh, and Wes, that also guided me in the right direction as far as what I believed he should have sounded like. And it came out nice. It doesn't matter what I believe what the character sounds like. It's how uh, everyone else feels, you know, if it's right too as well. So that it gelled together and that's how we came up with the Floronic Man.